Bidenomics, guys. What in the hell is Joe Biden talking about? Okay. His way of doing things is called Bidenomics. <laughs> Bidenomics. Print money and hand it out like it's going out of style. It makes inflation go to a 50-year high. And uh, our uh, interest rates jumped from pretty much zero to 10%. So, Bidenomics, that shit ain't working. My grocery bill costs triple. Gas still cost me a buck something more gallon than when Trump was in there. I don't like Bidenomics. Nobody does. That's why Joe Biden's not gonna get voted in again. Bidenomics, what the hell is Bidenomics? It's Beganomics, it's not Bidenomics. Beganomics? He's just trying to make a legacy for himself, but Beganomics is because everybody's gonna be begging for something because- Begging for cheese in the cheese line? Yes. Yeah. Biden has sold us out. Do you know what Bidenomics is? Bidenomics, that's what we're dealing with now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It sucks, I know that. Yeah. I wonder if Open, board, open Borders has anything to do with Bidenomics and uh, 100,000 people dying of fentanyl overdose every year. 250,000 Americans have died because of Bidenomics, Open Borders. You know what Bidenomics is? He's bragging about it like it's Reaganomics or something. Yeah, it is at Reaganomics. No. Because Reaganomics work. What he said the trickle down of shit don't work. <laughs> Printing money's the way to go, Brenda. And hand it out to everybody. God dang it. Money grows on trees. Shit. Keep going down. People got to send the money in and then they distribute it. But they're no longer distributing it back to us. They're giving it to other people. Yeah. So Bidenomics. Bidenomics is print money like crazy. Trillions of dollars. Make inflation go sky high and then tax the shit out of everybody. Well, they're trying to destroy the dollar because he's in bed with China. Yeah. So once the dollar is worthless, then China's going to say, come in because he's been kissing everybody other countries' ass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Bidenomics works so good that all these countries all around the world are going to stop using the dollar and they're going to use the ruble and they're going to use the yen. They're going to cut us off, rendering us powerless. That's what Bidenomics did. Yeah. Screwed us. We're going to need 10 Trumps to fix this shit. You know what I mean? We let a bunch of woke-ass morons in there, and we're fucked. No, what we need is Americans standing up and saying no more. If everybody in this country would stand up and say no more... They won't, though, Brenda, because they're Americans. They won't. They're too busy. Uh, yeah. If they can watch they, their baseball game and if they yeah. can get the drink that they want. We're so spoiled. We have no idea what's going on, man. Well, once that care. stuff is taken away, yeah. then they'll be upset. Yeah. Yeah. Then it'll be too late. Yeah. And that's what that, the one phrase I can't stand is people are waking up. I'm so sick of that phrase. I don't think they are. They are not waking up. No, if they haven't no. woke up by now, they're not going to wake up. They won't. So it's time to. We got to hit rock bottom for people to wake up, and I think it's gonna it's gonna come. We're gonna hit rock bottom. There are a lot of people out there that understand what's going on, but you got the vast majority. Mm -hmm. It seems to me yeah. of people who are out there and what they're doing is. They, if they can get what they want from from day to day, they're happy, mm -hmm. and their children are being destroyed. They don't understand yeah. that what what they, what, they just, what they screw up today is going to affect their children. So ultimately, they don't care about their kids. Yeah. No. Just sitting around complaining about shit ain't gonna get it fixed, guys. Like what no, I'm doing they right now. Be quiet. <laughs> you don't want to make waves. You know? They don't want to make waves. We're the live and let live people. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 That's why we're never we're having a hard time winning because we're the just. Live and let live, guys. Andy! Hey, man, do you have any idea what Bidenomics is? Biden was bragging about broke. it the other day. Huh? Good way to go broke? Yeah. Bidenomics is another term for get woke, go broke? Yeah. Could be. He's bragging. Biden's bragging about uh, his economic policies are so good, he's labeled it Bidenomics. As, it, as though it's something to live by and it's something to uh, aspire to. He seemed to be doing right by it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bidenomics is uh, shake down uh, government and uh, make millions of dollars by sitting at home. Uh, get your sick your son on them 
with threats, and you can bring he can bring home bags of cash. Maybe that's Bidenomics. Yeah, America is worth a lot of money. Yeah, we sell out pieces of it. What is Biden doing for all that money? Definitely <laughs> nothing that's going to benefit America. No, no. He ain't about America. He's about himself. Yeah, that's probably why that Chinese balloon never got shot down. Yeah. Yeah. Biden got paid to not shoot it down. Yeah. Until it was all the way across. Yeah. You know what the Pentagon is saying now? Um, we blocked the signal, so nothing was able to be sent to China. Bullshit liars. Our government only lies to us. They never tell us the truth, ever. Yeah. China floated that balloon slowly over our nuclear sites, took pictures, got what, probably sucked up all kinds of information, and then sent it back to China. And we let them do it, and we didn't shoot it down until it got out of the country. Then we shot it down. It floated over our country for like four days. He wanted to get his check if it didn't come for Yeah! <laughs> Biden's a crook! Lock his ass up! Long time, man, long time. Okay. Hey, do any of you guys know what Bidenomics means? No, no. no. <laughs> Bidenomics. He came out and said uh, he touted his Bidenomics plan. It means inflation. Yeah. It's inflation. <laughs> Bidenflation <laughs> is Bidenomics. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Hey, is anybody doing better under Biden than, than we were doing under no. Trump? Isn't that kind of how we gauge how we're going to vote? Go to the store. Yeah. Go, to, go get some gas or yeah. So they're saying that the average person that costs $10,000 more a year to live under Biden than it did under Trump. I think it's more than that. It's sick. You can't, people can't afford it. What about the people that can't live on Social Security? The welfare people that voted for Biden 100%. They're on a diet because they can't even afford to buy gr uh, groceries with that welfare money. That right. Their welfare money is worth nothing, hardly. Do, do you know what Bidenflation is? I mean, Bi Bidenflation. No, Bidenomics. Bidenomics? Yeah. <laughs> it, it's more inflation, uh, it means, more it means unemployment. Yes. It, means, yes. uh, it means yeah, more money. For more his, racism. More money for his pocket. Just yeah. Another one. Just another one. Yeah. Yeah, but he, he's acting like Biden. Bidenomics is some good thing that we got to keep doing here. He hasn't done anything good in 50 years. No. Have you noticed how bad his dementia is getting, guys? It's so bad, he literally... Can you imagine what Biden is look like when his, no one's looking? Look at his face. He doesn't even look like the same guy. No. He you looks know? like the Crypt Keeper, man. Yeah. It's bad. He, he, he can't even hardly walk and talk. Yeah. Biden walked off the stage. Before I saw the that. Camera. I saw that. You know. So how are you doing? Yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. You've been out of the country. Yeah, he's yeah. nuts. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. lost yeah. his marbles. Yeah, for Ten days. And we got it. He's got another year and a half to go. He ain't gonna make it. Well, nobody's gonna take him out, though. Nobody's. I think he's gonna his he's gonna crash though. That that dementia he's got, man, it ain't slowing down. It's only picking up. You know, could, Kamala, I think, I think Kamala will be the president well, before his term's up. I, That's I, what I predict. I think there's going to be a mutiny. Have you seen the number of uh, I see a lot of days that he's worked? He's about 40% yeah, yeah. he's worked. Oh, he, yeah, he takes, he's on vacation half the time. Yeah, if it's 40%, he's probably less than that. Joe half Biden half. has taken more vacations than Trump, Obama, and Bush put together. He, he's never done anything. No. He don't wake up until 10 in the morning. And he probably goes to bed at 7. Yeah. It's embarrassing. Leader of the free world, guys. My ass. Well, I, I, I don't get up till 10 o'clock either, so... Oh, you had that. Yeah. You had that. Yeah, but you ain't the leader of the wor free no. world. The message that you sent me. Neither is he. We don't know who the leader is. They won't tell us. Obama. Yeah. No doubt. All right, guys. Biden sucks ass. Uh, we'll be lucky to live through this shit. We'll be lucky he doesn't get us into World War III. Because that's a very real possibility. He's laundered all of our money over to Ukraine so he can get 10%. He's a big guy. Anyways, we're waving flags. Every other Friday in Orange City, man. Saxon Boulevard, Enterprise Road. Get your asses out here. Follow me on Twitter and Rumble. Rumble is the only place we have free speech, so follow me there. Facebook deleted my page. YouTube will be next, and then probably Twitter. Yeah. Twitter's all right, but it ain't all that. It's Rumble. It's the only place that we have free speech. I ain't doing minds, and I ain't doing Truth Social and all that shit. I'm talking about social media places where there's actually people. So follow me on Rumble. Do it.